So a common theme I'm seeing at the moment in this industry is a lot of private trainers don't know how to partner up with soccer academies or, or soccer clubs in their area to collaborate. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you five ways how your training or your service can help your local clubs to generate more money and also how you can become a valuable asset to them so that they can work with you long term and refer more players into your private training academy. So if you're a coach that has just landed on this video or you're watching for the first time or you're a consistent viewer of the channel and you might be thinking to yourself, you're sitting down there, you're, you're brainstorming on a piece of paper and you're like, right, what, what services can I offer or what value can I offer to local academies or local clubs in my area? I'm going to answer those questions right now. So something I'm currently doing here in Spain is I'm working with a couple of clubs on on this right I'm working with them to help them to to expand their their essentially their club to generate more revenue and to provide a better uh, and higher quality service to their customers so the five things I'm going to share with you take them away implement them because I know one of the five will definitely help you if you do it correctly so the first one, when I look at offering a service to, to a private club or a private academy, okay, so if you're a, a trainer and you want to go into a club or an academy and you want to and you want to offer something, first thing I see is right, what don't they do? So you've got to have an analysis of that club or academy. Okay. So if you're going to go into a club and offer something, you have to see, right, what are they lacking or what do they need help with? What value can I provide to them that no one in the club uh, currently provides? So the first one is a specialized uh, training program. So you are a private trainer. Training is your special speciality. It's what you specialize in. So why not go into clubs and offer your services to them? OK, so this service could be in the form of one on one training. This could be a uh, small groups. It could be larger groups. Right. So going into a club and offering your sp specialized program to their players can help the club not only just generate more revenue because you can set up an agreement with a club that they get a commission of every player or client that they send to you. OK. But also it gets you consistent clients because if the club are generating more revenue from your training, then essentially they are going to want to refer more players to work with you. Okay. Now these sessions could be done during a uh, team training. So you could be working on the side with one or two of uh, the club team players, uh, or it could be a specialized day during the during the the evening one day a week where players come and you you train them privately uh, within the facilities within that club okay and you can take you can use this as an event to showcase to parents like what how that club is very is different to everyone else right so that the first one is specialized training programs now the third one the second one is coach education or coach development events so something that we've done with, with the club that I'm working with at the moment is we've set up these, these events, which essentially, they're more fundraising events. Okay? But if you are knowledgeable, if you've got a lot of experience, if you're qualified, okay, you could go into the club and say to them, right, I'll put on a coach development event for all your, your coaches. Now, this works really well if you're working with a club that has volunteer parents okay you go in there and you say to them right we're going to put together a fundraising event leo's going to run an event with you guys okay there's going to be a fee for the event but all those fees that are generated from that event is going to go towards the club okay now you might be thinking right well where do i make money on this okay at the beginning you might not make money but what you want to do is you want to become the authority you want to become the person 
that everyone looks up to and says, do you know what? This guy knows what he's talking about. This guy knows what he's doing. This guy is the guy that I need to follow. This is the guy that I need help with. Okay. And what you're going to see is if you become that person, okay, later on down the line, there's going to be coaches reaching out to you, say, can you come and work with my team for one session? Or a couple of my players that are on my team, they need help with this, this, and this. Can you run a, a private session for them? But this is something we've done. Uh, we brought in a coach for this club, ran an event. Uh, it was each coach paid a couple of euros uh, to, to attend, but all, those, all that money went into the club to help them fund for uh, things that they need in order to operate. But if you run them at least maybe once a month, not only are the coaches more involved, they're developing, which makes uh, the club better, but the club are, are finding an, an extra way now to generate extra revenue uh, with you as well. Okay, so you become a valuable asset. You can bring someone in to to run these events or you can run them yourself if you're confident enough to. I would recommend try and find the confidence to do it yourself. If you feel that you're qualified, uh, you have enough experience and you feel that you can provide something that someone else doesn't. Okay, so that's the second way. Now, the third way is building an online program for that club. So if that club has a lot of players, okay, you can go to them and offer the offer to create an online training program that they can do at home when they're not at club training. So this could be specific to individual player development, right? And the way you can collaborate is you can go 50-50 with the club on the profits made from those sales. Okay, so that way the club is making money with you Okay, and also they're going to be pushing parents to purchase it because not only are they making more money, but also it's a way for you to generate more money as well. But again, a lot of these things I'm going to share with you, maybe at the beginning, you're not going to be making a lot of money. But the purpose is, right, what can I offer of value to the club that they're then going to see me as valuable and want to do more stuff with me in the future? Okay. Building an online program is, is a great one. Okay, you could do like a 10 or 12 week program where players go through it and you go through certain drills. You could do mindset coaching stuff as well. So you can combine this into a package that parents buy and you can go 50-50 with, with the club or they keep a, a certain percentage of every sale. But if they're making something off it, then the likelihood is that they're going to want to work with you because not only does that separate them from other clubs who don't have online programs, but it also adds more value to the parents that bring their child to training and are part of and members of that club, right? So that's the third one. Now, the fourth one is running camps and clinics. Okay, so for holidays, you might go into the club and say, right, I want to run a, a camp this holiday, okay? This is how we can split uh, the revenue for these camps. This is how the camp is going to run. Okay, so if you know that the club maybe doesn't run camps or or they do, but you know they need more help or they need someone that's a bit more professional, more specialized, then that's a fantastic way for you and the club to make extra money. You can collaborate together. Uh, they can promote it to the families that are part of that club. You run the event you keep a percentage of the signups and a, they get a commission of every sign up that that comes to your your camp but if it's set up properly then again this is a fantastic way to generate extra revenue for yourself and to help the club essentially make more money which is what they want to do uh, in the long term okay that is camps. Also, you can run clinics. So I've t I talk about clinics quite a lot on this channel. So go back. Uh, but there's a number of ways that you can run clinics. Uh, it might be once a month. It might be every two, two or three weeks. Uh, I would recommend potentially uh, every month, once a month at least, to run a clinic at the club where their players can come in. Okay, This could be a very discounted fee. Um, and in return... Again, 
you can keep a percentage of the sales, the club keep a percentage of the sales, or you know, you can use it as a marketing event to promote what you do and also uh, your partnership and collaboration with the club. If more and more parents that are part and members of the club see you on a regular basis, the more chances and likelihood are that they're going to want to do stuff with you. Because if they see you constantly, that the club is advertising what you do, that builds trust and it builds a reputation for your business as well. Okay, so that's the fourth one. Now the fifth one is player workshops. Okay, player or parent workshops. Okay, you could do parent education workshops or you could do player and parent workshops. A really good one, okay, that I've helped a lot of coaches out in the US do is coach recruitment workshops. So these are events where parents pay, again, it's like a fundraising event. So anything that is generated from that event goes to uh, the club. So you might charge parents $5, or seven dollars or ten dollars to to attend but of that uh, that goes to the club but also in return you're able to promote your business to parents and also give them something of value which is the college recruitment process so how can their child get recruited to play at the college level what does the uh, college re recruitment process look like um, and how your company can help them if that is something that they're interested in doing. Okay, a lot of parents will be interested in doing that. Uh, for clubs, you can do very similar. So if you're if you're in the UK, you can run an event where you're working with parents or parents and players attend the event, and you're talking about how to get recruited to play at a pro academy, okay, or what uh, scouts look for when they look to recruit players at the youth at youth clubs okay so these are all events that if you run them uh, properly and if you run them correctly not only can you generate a little bit of profit and money but also you help the club to make more money which again you become more valuable you become an asset and later down the road they're going to want to do more stuff with you Okay, so if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you want to reach out to me uh, directly, description below this video will be my link. You can book a, a free one on one call with me. We'll jump on Zoom. I can ask you some questions about what you're currently doing and I can see if I can help you moving forward. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you.